welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kimberly Sherelle, but I go by Kim. So we're going to hop right into this video. This is the very first of this week's series, which is going to be my week of favorites. I've done this before. If you guys was following me back in like, I think February, I did a week of favorites and you guys really enjoyed it. So I was like, I might as well do it again. I have not completely different favorites, but I haven't been picking up a lot of those favorites lately. I've been picking up something completely different. I wanted to go ahead and do kind of an update so you guys, you know, get all the goods. And just to let you know, I know you guys are used to me commenting as soon as videos go up, but unfortunately, I am going to be out the entire week. I'm on a cruise, so... But I'll be back to comment and say my good loves, and I'm going to come and see who's first or whatever, you know, my crew, my notification crew. If you're not part of that crew, make sure you hit that bell button, okay? And hit the subscribe button because we at 83. We just hit 83, so... <laughs> Okay, so um, today we're going to be talking all about the cleansers and shampoos that are my favorites. So let's just hop right into it. The first cleanser that I want to talk about is apple cider vinegar. This here is babe for me. Like apple cider vinegar, if there's anything wrong with my hair, I result back to apple cider vinegar. I don't know, it's something about balancing the pH that just brings my hair back to life. A lot of you guys are like, hey, my hair is going through something right now. I don't know. Apple cider vinegar. Either you're going to do a clarifier, you're going to use your Aztec clay mask, or if you don't want to do that, I would say do a apple cider vinegar rinse. And if you guys want to see a video on that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section below and I will surely, certainly get a video out for you guys. But I really just put apple cider vinegar and water in a bottle and I like to spray it on. I don't like a nozzle, I like to spray it directly on my hair and make sure I'm running the water under and make sure I'm detangling my hair while I'm doing it. So if you guys want to see a video, let me know, but apple cider vinegar is definitely bae for me. The next product I wanted to talk about was something that I actually did not like a while back and it is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Yo. Guys, this stuff is so freaking good. It just smells amazing, it glides on my hair. I could definitely feel it cleansing, but it doesn't strip my hair. This is a cleanser that I pick up a ton and I need like a bigger jug like I want them to put this in like a pump a big pump what is this 16 ounces I mean like 32 ounce pump like I really need this stuff that's that would be legit as I am if you guys did but this coconut co-wash is so bomb I am absolutely obsessed with it so if you guys um haven't gotten your hands on it Go get your hands on it. I would say if you are transitioning, you might not like this product. This is only for, I would say it's best for people who are completely natural um, because I didn't like the product when I was transitioning. And a lot of other people on my other videos said the same exact thing. So, um, yeah, if you are looking for a good co wash or a good just cleanser overall, I would highly, highly, highly recommend the As I Am Coconut Co Wash. <laughs> Okay, so the next cleanser I want to talk about is the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence. I have been loving this. Not going to show because it's this color. I don't know. It's just too bright in here. So, um, yeah, the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence is a really good cleanser, guys. It's nice and light. It definitely kind of reminds me of the As I Am, but it's not as moisturizing. It definitely doesn't smell as good, but I do like it. It doesn't strip my hair. But it definitely cleansed my hair. So I would say I like this. It's not going to be for everybody. And it's expensive. So I wouldn't recommend you guys jumping out there to run and get this product, of course. It's definitely not going to be for everybody. And it is a learning curve to any Diva Curl product all the time, okay? I'm not necessarily into a lot of stripping cleansers because I do do my clay mask when I want to completely cleanse my hair. But I do like this. And the last product that I want to talk about is actually a product... I haven't talked about on my channel before and I was sent this from Sally's. I have to say this is a amazing shampoo. This is by Sauce Beauty and this is the Intense Repair Shampoo and it has mint and peppermint oil. But y'all, you know how mint and peppermint oil normally like strips all of your hair? This just left my hair feeling nice and, and moisturized. Like I did, I could detangle with this. And you guys know I'm really big on shampoos that I can detangle with. That's probably the essence of everything that I've talked about. I'm just kind of into 
shampoos and cleansers that I can run my fingers through. I don't like when they're super drying to the fact where like my hands getting stuck like up there. I don't like that. I don't know if y'all like that, but I'm not a big fan of it. I really like this um, shampoo. I think it's only sold at Sally's, but um, I will try to see if I can find some links maybe on Amazon or something if you guys um, don't have access to a Sally's and see if I can find that for you guys. But I like this stuff. It smells like straight mint. Anything that smells like mint, I mean, I'm all for it. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so that's all of the shampoos and cleansers that I wanted to talk about. Those are my favorites right now. Those are the ones that are sitting in my shower and um, on rotation. So, um, I hope you guys like this video. So tomorrow, make sure you come back at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be talking about conditioners and leave-ins that are my favorites and I know you guys are like dying to see that because I actually have the most leave-ins and conditioners to talk about. I'm like, Jesus, maybe I should have broken up between conditioners and leave-ins, but I wanted to make it all into one video this time. So make sure that you guys are back so that you can check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.